Good evening, everyone. Another day in court on the Christopher Tapp case, and today it was a status conference. The judge, the defense, and the state attorneys agreed to postpone the post-conviction case until April. Febin Kasuhun is live at the Bonneville County Courthouse. Febin, tell us why it was postponed and what we can expect in April. Jane Carroll, because this is a big event, a big case. Both parties have agreed to postpone it to April. Now, the cases are strong enough to stand on their own, which is why they're having two separate court dates. Now, the first case will be on the, the DNA petition. Christopher Tapp's defense attorney tells me because Tapp's DNA was not on any of the crime scene evidence, he wants to push Tapp's innocence of him not being at the crime scene at all. The judge also said the outcome of the first petition will affect how he looks at the second petition. Now, that brings me to the second one. The second one is for the reported false confession from Tapp. Also, when it comes to the prosecutor's review from last Friday, Tapp's defense attorney tells me there are a number of inaccuracies. We're going to boil it down and reduce it to our own report. Uh, but at this time, I'm not prepared to comment on it. There's some things that um, need to be worked out with, with higher-ups and whatnot. Chris Tapp is absolutely innocent, and we're going to do everything that we can. Now, the court days are as follows. The DNA petition case is set for April 4th through April 10th, and the false confession petition case is set for April 24th and will take about four days. Live at the Bonneville County Courthouse, I'm Fevin Casahoon. All right, thanks, Febin. We do have the original interrogation video on our website, localnews8.com. Just search TAP Interrogation.